everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. If you're new here, I am a 51 year old professional makeup artist and licensed hairstylist. I've been working in the industry for over 25 years and I want to bring you the tips and tricks that I know. For reference, I have a normal to dry skin, definitely more on the dry. As I get older though, I'm getting a little bit more oily in this T-zone area. Funny enough, I think it's because my pores look larger and I notice the shine a little bit more. So my goal is to bring you tips and tricks as your skin is maturing and changing changing with our hormones and our age, but all of my tips and tricks can be used for all ages. On TikTok, I have viewers in their teens and they're telling me that it's helpful for them as well. So all of my tips and tricks can be used across the board, no matter what age and skin type you are. If you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I post on there every day pretty much. So I don't want you to miss out on any content over there. They're short form content and they can give a lot of information. I really love how this makeup look turned out today. It's using mostly drugstore products. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please keep on watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and the like button. Let's get going. Good morning, everyone. I am gonna do another full face of drugstore products. I'm gonna try anyways. I got the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Problem always is with the drugstore is, you know, like I don't know if that's my color. It's very hard to tell. So I did get it from Walmart and I know that they have a really good return policy, but you know, I don't really enjoy doing that either. And then I placed an order online. This is mostly e.l.f. by the way. I've got a liquid liner and I didn't think I ordered that. I thought I ordered their new mascara, but I guess Yes, I didn't. I have the new Winter Celestial 10 piece eyeshadow palette. And I also got the Simply Enchanted Face Palette, which I'm excited to use as well. So this has two highlighters, two bronzers, two shimmer blushes, and two matte blushes. I actually ordered a skincare as well, but I already moisturized my skin. This is the Holy Hydration Face Cream. I'm gonna use that in another video and let you know how that is. Oh, that's interesting. So it's supposed to sound like that. This is the e.l.f. Soap Brow. I'm gonna have to read the instructions on that one. That makes sense. I do have to wet this product first. Interesting. I would have expected this to be more of a paste. The other products I got were the Mint Melt and the Cream and Sugar Palette. This one looks really pretty too, and this one reminds me of the Natasha Denona uh, Retrogram, Retro Glam Palette. <laughs> I purchased the color Light 210, and I've already prepped my skin. Oh, that's not as light as I thought it was gonna be. Okay. I'm just going to dot it all over. I'm not sure what kind of coverage to expect from this. I have heard wonderful things about it. Wow, that's really pretty. I actually expected it to be a little bit more dry feeling for some reason. We'll see how it dries down, but so far so good. And I didn't have to use that much. Let's see close up. It didn't accentuate any pores or any fine lines. I'm still trying to figure out my studio lighting. I'm filming on my phone right now and it's covering some of my light. So I'm sorry, bear with me, but I'm hoping you get a good view of what that looks like. I'm using such a small amount. I'm gonna try the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. Usually I use a 16 hour wear. This look is nice and fresh and glowy. So I'd like to maybe keep my under eyes glowy too a little bit. This eye has that nice brown spot right there. I think after Christmas, I'm going to have a service called PicoSure, and that's a tool that will remove dark spots. I've had IPL before, but I feel like this is gonna work better. You know, I'm gonna save this for later because I think I should have done my foundation last because this has a lot of blues, and if that drops down onto my face, I'm gonna look like I have a black eye. So I'm gonna go ahead with the Mint Melt. I'm excited to play with this one anyways, because I love that green. I'm gonna prime my lids first with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I have NYX eyeshadow primer. I didn't like it on me, so I'll have to look for an eyeshadow primer from the drugstore. Again, if you guys have a suggestion, let me know. But Painterly always works so well for me, and honestly, it lasts for so long. I haven't had to rebuy one in forever. I use Painterly and I'll use Soft Ochre. So I'm gonna tap that first color right in the outer corner. I'll always start here when I'm unsure of how dark it is because I don't wanna start it here and then end up with this splooch of color that I have to blend out. I want it darker in the outer corner anyways. So it's safe to place it there and then whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna drag. That's crazy. I haven't had to re-dip my brush at all. And look at it, covered the whole outer corner of my eye and into the crease. 
This isn't a sponsored video, by the way. I'm just really pleasantly surprised with e.l.f. I never gave it a shot before I started filming videos, and I'm so impressed. I'm gonna use my finger in the green because I really want the most deposit possible. Ooh, that's so pretty. And I'm just gonna keep it on my lid. I would describe it as more of a sheer mint shimmer color. I'm gonna use this light soft shimmer shade right in here. Then I'm gonna use this dark brown right here as my liner. And I may pull it up, I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, I'm using a Refer 23 brush. Love this brush so much. It allows me to be detailed, but still have a soft application versus a stiff angled brush. And I'm just tapping that in a little bit so it all blends. And I'm gonna slightly pull it out in the outer edge. I think I'm gonna use a little bit more of this color and deepen up the crease a little bit more. Now I'm gonna use a Refer 03 and I'm gonna go back into this original color right here. And I'm gonna use that as my lower lash line eyeliner. My favorite mascara these days is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. And that is because I have sensitive eyes. I'm finding this mascara works really well for me. And if you've seen my other videos, I'm sure you know this already, but it's easy to get off. It's not like a typical tubing mascara. It builds really nice. And I feel like I get a nice amount of fullness with this mascara. Whereas some other tubing mascaras just really give me length and I want fullness as well. All right, now for the soap brow. I've never done this before. So I could actually take this right out. It really feels like a bar of soap. Did I just pay for a bar of soap? I'm just gonna rub my wet spoolie in the soap brow. I don't typically use a brow gel, but the reason is I get really itchy. Like if it dries crusty, I hate the feeling of it and I find that I'm constantly rubbing my eyebrow, but we'll see how this dries. I don't have a whole lot of brows left. <laughs> I'm gonna let that sit for a second and dry. I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. I feel like using a pen. So today I'm gonna to use the Taupe Shape and Shade Brow Tint. This is by MAC. This pen allows me to create my own brush strokes very, very easily. So I can see I have a hole here. I have big holes here. and I'm gonna extend it out a little bit. This one is much more sparse. I don't have a powder from the drugstore, so I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Blur Powder. I love the way this foundation feels, so I don't want it to be too matte, but I can see where I need it, right here in the center and right here for sure. So I'm just gonna pat it in. I'm actually using a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna set my under eye with that. And I can see it just a little bit more right here. And right there. This is the Simply Enhanced Face Palette. Everything else is working out so well, so I have a good feeling about this. Are my brows even? I don't know. All right, hmm, that's interesting. That looks more like an eyeshadow to me. That is a blush. It has two highlighters. Hold on, those are the two highlighters. So, so good for all skin tones, I would say. This would be great for a makeup artist. Two shimmer blushes. Is there though? Is that shimmer? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. And then two powders. I'm so confused. <laughs> this must be the powder. And is that the powder? I'm gonna see if this one could be used as a contour. I'm not sure. It just looks like it has too much color for me to be used for a powder. I'm actually gonna use a fan brush and dip into this one here. Yeah, so it's too dark for a powder. I'm not sure what their intentions were for this one, but it looks great as a contour. This is actually working out really well. I'm gonna use this color for a blush and I'm just gonna pet that on. I feel like it might be dark, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. So I think I'm gonna just take whatever's left on my brush and use it as my brow highlight. 
I find this a little much, so I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and a little bit of my blur powder and go over top just to mesh it all in together and soften it up. When I add color to my eyes, I don't generally like to add a lot of color to my lips. I'm kind of a nude girl anyways. So I'm gonna use Allie by Nude Sticks and see what that looks like. I think that works. Okay, let's get this hair down. Okay, I love this look. Let's review. This is fabulous. I had no idea I was gonna like it this much. I was actually a little unsure. Like I said, I thought it was gonna be more of a matte formulation and it is not, it feels so good. Okay, let's talk about this face palette. I think if you're a medium to darker skin tone, I think this would be really pretty. As a fair skin tone girl, this isn't gonna be as useful for me unless you're a professional makeup artist and then you definitely could use all of these in your kit, but I probably won't be picking this up very often for myself. This eyeshadow palette is really good. I am very happy with this look. The colors were easy to blend. They have lots of pigment to them. For the price, it's amazing and it's easy to travel with as well and easy to store in your makeup kit. The soap brow, I will know better at the end of the day if it irritated me. Right now, it's not irritating me at all. So normally I get kind of itchy if it's crusty, if it dries really hard. I'm not finding that this is drying very hard at all. It's comfortable and my brows look great, I think. Let me know what you guys think. Is that it? I think that's all I tried. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button, that helps me out a lot. I love to hear your comments in the comment section. And what else? Share with all your friends. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.